why? That was the first word that came into our minds when we saw this product. Why did Seagate blow its R&D budget into making this a reality? Uh, why not just get a Western Digital MyBook 4TB and call that your game library instead? Is it because of the expandable M2 2280 NVMe SSD slot, customizable LEDs, one Thunderbolt 3 port for laptops, one Thunderbolt 3 port for accessory device, one display port 1.4, four USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports, one USB 3.1 Gen 2 battery charge port, one RJ45 Ethernet network, one 3.5mm audio in mic port, one 3.5mm audio output port, fire coder M2 NVMe SSD sold separately. We are here today to try and figure out why this product exists and we might have uncovered a secret. It's because some of you are rich as f If you think that your desk needs some customizable RGBs or that your laptop is missing a few important gaming ports, this might be the product for you. The Seagate Firecooler Gaming Dock makes up for your laptop's lack of storage space and IOs, beefing it up to rival a gaming desktop. Now, we're not discounting the fact that it can also benefit desktop users, but from a practical point of view, it seems to be targeted at the laptop market. Heck, even the connection port itself shows a laptop icon. The design of this gaming dock is a no-frills, straight-to-the-point look. Uh, one might even mistake it as a black Xbox One S until they realize the sweet, sweet RGB contraption at the side that glows like a beacon of whoa in the middle of the night. Stop laughing. Stop laughing. <laughs> You stop laughing! <laughs> the RGB shroud is not just for show. Uh, removing it reveals an M2 expansion slot, allowing you to load your games faster. But quick loading is of no use if your teammates are rocking that ancient 5400 RPM hard drive and getting stuck at the loading screen. <laughs> the Seagate Firecooler Gaming Dock sports a 4TB Ironwolf Pro that runs at 7200 RPM with 128MB of cache, so it's capable of sustaining 220MB per second. Uh, this is a server-grade drive, so you can be sure that your games will run reliably and relatively fast. At least faster than a traditional hard drive. Now, we mentioned earlier on that the Western Digital MyBook might be able to produce the same results, but will it be the, same, but will it be the case? Uh, for this, we have to go deep. You know, deep within the cracks. Stay close to me, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, can you see me? Now, this is the inside of the Western Digital MyBook. Uh, depending on when you bought it, your hard disk might be a white or red label. Curious about the story between the two? You can read up on this in the link below. Now let's assume you got the red label. The WD red hard disk spins at 5400rpm with 256MB of cache capable of sustaining 180MB per second. Some of you might be tempted to believe that higher hard disk speeds mean smoother gameplay. Uh, this is a big misconception as disk speeds only help you to load levels faster, not render graphics quicker. You will be better off investing your money in a new graphics card like Nvidia's new 30 series graphics cards uh, to get those battery smooth frame rates. Let's go back to our studio. At this juncture, you might be asking, why is the Firecoda Gaming Dock running on Thunderbolt 3, which can go up to 40 gigabits per second, when the hard drive speeds are a fraction of that? because it is not supposed to be used solely as a hard drive. Uh, it's meant to expand your laptop's IOs, giving you functions that you probably need to purchase a hub for. During our research of this product, we quickly realized the Firecuda Gaming Dock may not be as relevant in today's measures. Most gaming laptops are already fitted with both an SSD and a hard drive. With the hardware size optimizations these days, many are able to fit a display port, USB 3.1 Gen 2, Gigabit Ethernet, 3.5mm audio port, just to name a few important ones. All hope is not lost, however, as there are still some laptops with minimal IOs and only a single SSD installed. The Razer Blade Stealth is a good example, with it only having two Type-A USB 3.1, two Thunderbolt 4, a one 3.5mm headphone microphone combo port, or Dell's XPS 15, which only has one USB-C 3.1, two Thunderbolt 3, a 3.5mm headphone microphone combo port as well. Uh, these laptops have a very thin form factor which granted them the title of a gaming ultra book. But because of their form factor, they are unable to include I.O. which gamers may require such as additional Type-A ports to plug in their wireless peripherals or Gigabit Ethernet for a stable internet connection. Looking at the Firecoda Gaming Dock from another point of view, it might also benefit creatives who are infamous for having gigantuan media files as they contain a lot of visual data for your viewing pleasure. Uh, the camera right now is recording video files at about 2.3GB per minute of recording. 23 gigabytes per minute. Man. Uh, the entire video should be about 10 minutes, which is easily 23 gigabytes stored in our hard drive. If you only have a single 512 gig SSD installed, you may need to purchase a hard drive after two to three projects. So why isn't this called the Firecoda Creative Dog then? Because there are more gamers than creatives in the world, unfortunately. Join the creative industry, guys. 
the exposure here is great. The Seagate Toolkit software is a nifty program you can use to backup, restore, and actively mirror your files, and of course, customize that sweet, sweet RGB. Moving into the software, we see Backup and Mirror. They are both used for the preservation of your data, but they perform their operations differently. Backup runs on a defined schedule, for example, 12 a.m. in the morning. After choosing your folder, the operation will run automatically once the timing is met. Mirror actively copies the files over to the file coder and vice versa, depending on where you place the file. It actively syncs every little change detected in the data and makes sure that they are a perfect copy of one another. I was quite surprised to see a restore function as I thought it had the ability to restore files that are permanently deleted off the Firecuda, but that was quickly brought back down to earth when it simply restores the data from the backups that we scheduled. Oh well, one can only dream. Side note, please make sure you have at least two copies of your data at all times, it's too dangerous. Last but not least, the all-time favorite RGB customization. Uh, I love how the toolkit's RGB choices accurately reflect on the Firecuda gaming dock probably due to its increased RGB LEDs, which can display a wider range of colors. Uh, the illumination patterns are highly customizable as well, with it being able to carry three custom profiles. I would imagine the Firecuda Gaming Dock to greatly complement someone who owns any of the aforementioned laptops as it grants them desktop-level I.O. in a slick and compact form. It is also very accessible, which I imagine to sit nicely below your computer monitor desk riser. Uh, plus, the RGB mesh is just pure aesthetic flexing. Would we recommend this to our desktop friends? Well, if you have a spare bit of cash lying around and want more accessible I.O. with additional 4TB to install games on, Modern Warfare is getting ridiculous. You know, the newest patch is 60GB size. Or get an off-brand USB hub and place it under your monitor. And a 4TB internal hard drive. And some RGB lights off hardware. You might be able to save yourself a couple hundred bucks. For more money saving tips, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you know when we release something new. Hopefully, this episode entertained you, or else I might be losing my job. Stay sane, stay safe.